this video, I will show you how to use the multidiscipline drafting smart annotations for your civil projects. I have some 3D geometry of a spillway. Some wireframe has been added specifically for the 2D drawings, such as some center lines and a point. I create my drawing. I can choose the standard to use from the default ones. Then pick the size of your sheet. You can start with an empty sheet or a sheet with predefined views. Drafting and multidiscipline drafting apps are fully interoperable, but I will use multidiscipline for this video. I start by creating the view. Only the products that I will select will be displayed in the view. The reference plane for the view can be picked from the 3D tab or through the 3D shortcut in the panel. The scale can be set at creation of the view. My plan view is created. By default, wireframe is not displayed in the view. In the View Properties, in the Generation tab, you can define if you want to display 3D points, 3D wireframe, and also hidden lines. Basic drafting commands are available in multidiscipline drafting such as balloons. Dimensions. Text. Style, font, and character can be set through the Object Properties panel accessible through the right mouse click button. In View Layout, I retrieve also basic views from drafting and I will create a section view for my spillway. I define the section plane in my plan view and double click to end the selection. Section view is created and I can change its properties such as not show the hidden lines, change the angle and the scale. An area fill has been automatically applied. This is coming from the material that I applied on my concrete. The material drafting domain allows me to pick an image or apply a specific hatching to my product when it is sectioned. Now, let's see the smart annotations. First, I would create an elevation annotation. The catalog icon opens the annotation template catalog that will link in the data setup. You can find here some elevation annotation samples and you can enrich this catalog by creating your own annotations. I double click on the annotation I want to use. I pick the unit I want to use. I want to see the elevation of the selected line and I define the reference to be used to calculate automatically the elevation, here the XY plane. Elevation is displayed and the value is automatically calculated from the 3D. I have a couple of options in the parameter tab to define the positioning of the text. I can now validate. The beauty of those smart annotations is that you can copy and paste them at other locations. The value will be automatically recomputed on the geometry you select and you can edit the new annotation to modify it. Just a little tip about this annotation. I'm in normal range here, but if you use it in large range, you could see some distortion of this elevation annotation like this. To solve this, you need to go to your preferences and switch the 2D accuracy to proportional. It will solve this issue. Another interesting annotation is the slope. You have the choice between different types of annotations and you can enrich the catalog with your own annotations. The slope will be computed with reference to the selected plane, here also XY. Same as for the elevation annotation, you can copy-paste the annotation and the value will update accordingly. If I edit the plan view by double-clicking on it, I can add a compass annotation. Bigger row annotation will take into account the azimuth of your product from the geolocation tab. Of course, the symbol can be customized the way you want. Here, the CRS and its ID, EPSG, are also displayed. In the 3D, we can confirm that there is actually an azimuth assigned to the product, and if I click on the north of the compass, it will reorient my view plane, and we can confirm that the compass annotation has been properly defined. Coordinate annotations can be added on 3D points. Northing Easting annotation is the only one that will take into account the geolocation. Easting and nursing coordinates have been computed and we can double check those with the geolocation of the product. 
In a plan view, you can also create a spot elevation where you will get the elevation of the selected entity. Like other annotations, you can copy paste it. Finally, I can set the frame and title block of my drawing using the page layout. Default frame and title block can be used, but you can also set your own templates. Some information can be automatically retrieved by the title block, such as the product title, the designer, the date. You can complete other information by double clicking on the cell. You can also create parametric annotations that will retrieve any parameter from the 3D. Even though most of them in this list are defined for the Structure Design app, you can create your own ones or use the two last ones, which can be really useful. The parametric annotation feature name annotation retrieves the name of the feature you pick. You can also do a copy paste and the name is updated accordingly. If you name your Katia feature properly, it speeds up the annotation creation process. And of course, if you rename the feature in the spec tree, it will propagate to your drawing during the update. Another parametric annotation is the instance name that will retrieve the name of the instances selected. As mentioned, don't hesitate to create your own parametric annotations that can retrieve any parameter coming from the 3D geometry. Mm -hmm.